as two more. <laughs> Friday the 10th of March 2023 and I am starting restarting my penguano from by Stephen West it is beautiful I just can't wait to have it finished these are the colors I've chosen and then all my sock leftovers so it's making a nice silky fabric really like it So I'm hoping that the ho the overall theme of the colours will be on the darker side of blues and greens. And this is my showcase colour, which is a sock. I bought just a sock yarn to make socks, but I'm thinking it's more a worsted weight. It is so beautiful, the colours in it. Ariane... Ariandria. It's Aram weight, so I'll only use one of those by itself by Black Elephant. But the rest are sock yarns. So, so beautiful. Hi, my name is Barbara Radzadikas, and I'm Bondi Knit and Quilt. And this is my version of Stephen West Panguino. This episode we're going to talk about my Stephen West um, Penguino. Um, the name is very interesting, Penguin, and has it anything to do with Yoko? <laughs> I'm not sure, but Penguino is what I've made. I just love the shape and the, the fact that you can use all different colours to make a beautiful mau. They're both lovely on both sides. I thought I'd focus on greens because greens are my favourite and I had this from a British um, wool cone and the others are just leftovers really, they're no, no specific um, yarns. I had some uh, Rowan felted tweeds that I had leftover pieces from and they, they joined the queue very nicely. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so happy with it. and. I hope you make one too. And thank you, Stephen. This is my workstation, I've set it out. So I've arranged the colors from dark, medium, and light, and mixture of really small pieces. These are my paints. I just love yarn colors. So this is the palette. I have them all set out in front of me. Doing my welts at the moment, and I've decided to um, pick up the stitches for the welt the same way as Stephen has suggested in his second um, second way of doing it, and that's with a third needle or this or a spare needle that's just a bit thinner than the uh, six mil that I'm using, and I've picked up all the stitches with the thinner needle. I find it much easier to knit that together with the uh, stitches already on the needle. So that's a good idea. I particularly love how the colours meet here on this um, on this ribbing. It's like a plait of beautiful colours. I'm up to the right sides, uh, number six, and I'm just thinking what a lovely neat edge this is. I never connected 
uh, horizontal to vertical <laughs> rows before and it looks really nice um, this row of stitches here and then I really like the, the braid on the side also makes it easy to pick up stitches but yeah so exciting And here is the other side of that seam. I just think it's unreal. When you mix um, a few strands of different yarns together, they make these beautiful colours. And I just wasn't expecting that, I don't think. But so happy that I going along that I'm going along with the pattern instead of making small adjustments. <laughs> Finish the body of the vest it's beautiful I think I'm gonna knit another one just in different colors but this has used a lot of my scraps and as you can see it's quite long so I'm wondering how it's going to <laughs> knit up so you probably already remember that I'm dyslexic so I read the pattern this part of the pattern upside down so I had this section, front section, connected to the bottom. And I realised it when I was practically at the end. <laughs> so I undid that last night and redid. Just finished now. It is the... It's Wednesday. So <clears throat> need to get on with it now and hoping to have it finished next week so that will be nearly two weeks of knitting but i love it it is so so interesting and so addictive i just want to knit, 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 knit. <laughs> it's beautiful this is where i'm up to with my pinguino um I love it so much. The colours are so beautiful, but it is too big and too heavy, I'm finding. So I'm thinking I might do a little modification to it. But this is how far I've got so far. It is beautiful. So it fits okay front and back panels of the belts. The length, mm. but this is what's bothering me. A little too much fabric, I'm thinking, just at the top of the pocket, of the, um, at pockets, <laughs> of the under sleeves so if it was more like that I'm thinking it would be perfect I haven't tried it on upside down yet I've finished my I cord all the way around very hurting my fingers I think it's the weight and the you know just the weight of the fabric and the knitting <laughs> but I love how the colors mile together and these are just beautiful I also love the shape of a Japanese kimono so I'm not sure how it will look without the dark green um, side panel but I'm thinking I might take it out 
or I might make myself another finish this one and make a lighter a lighter weight penguano but all together it's coming along nicely have to um, weave in all my threads ends and it's quite pretty <laughs> and do the sleeves and so I'm not going to do long sleeves or even sleeves I think I'm just going to bind off and wear it like a vest I'm thinking whichever way I go it will be lovely that will bring that up like that and so it doesn't fall down but yeah oh. So, next step, thinking. I'm up to weaving in my ends, and I don't know how, how everybody else weaves their ends in, but I like to thread up my needle with a few threads. This is my needle. And just lace it through uh, about three inches the length of the needle and then pull it out and it makes a very nice um, a very nice ending to the threads and I don't think they will pull out because it's sticky thread anyway so I started here and it comes out here and it looks okay can't see it on the front I also um, thread the needle along the um, I-cord if it's the black thread or any coloured thread that's the I-cord thread and just thread it along inside it and that's how I do it. I, I think that's a really neat way to end off threads. So it's coming along. <laughs> There's five million threads to end off but getting there. have it upside down or around the other way. It looks really cool. Lines match up. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'll wear it up this way though. Just a thought though. I mean, it's got the waltz on the shoulders. Looks nice. Love the colours. So we'll try it around the other way. This is the right way. beautiful. There are obvious modifications that I made. So we don't have sleeves. But to see my bin. <laughs> I think it's lovely. And I'm going to wear a netski with it. So my netski will be my barton. This is one of my collection. It's an, a rat. I've got a collection of rats. He's so cute one of my first ones. So I'm going to wear him hereabouts and he'll hang on a toggle. <laughs> Bad. Modifications I made I 
have made the um, sides less gaping. So when I did the armhole um, eye cord, I did two stitches together instead of one on each one so that it's much less um, wide and it fits much better. Uh, what else did I do? My, I couldn't figure out how to do German short rows, so I went so far, put a marker, turned and went back, and every three rows I had a marker and it went back a few rows, and then when I'd finished I just um, did one row and it connected all the uh, left over three stitches, lots of three stitches. I have mentioned that. I think it's lovely. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> That's me signing off for this episode of Knitting the Pinguano by Stephen West. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my video if you like the content and thanks for watching. Bye.